Designing your living space is a very individual task. You've opted for Parador engineered wood flooring. For easy installation, you need the right tools. We'll show you how it's done. Give yourself five minutes for this. Your new engineered wood flooring is a natural product and first has to adjust to the indoor climate. Store the unopened packages there for at least 48 hours at over 17 degrees Celsius. Prepare well for the installation and observe the enclosed product information. The subfloor must be dry, firm and even. Please remove loose PVC floor coverings or carpet. It is important to have the right underlay, which Parador also offers as a combined product. With this, you will compensate for slight uneven patches and ensure additional ambient and impact noise protection. Lay the planks parallel to the incident of light and start on the side of the light source if possible. Measure the width of the room and work out the first and last plank. The first row of planks will be adjusted for this. In this way, you will get an appealing design. You can use a jigsaw as well as a manual or circular table saw. The first planks are laid together. Align the first row precisely with the wall. For this purpose, it's best to use our spacer wedges, with which you can also compensate for slight uneven parts of the wall. Engineered wood flooring is a natural product and moves. Depending on the indoor climate, your new flooring will expand or contract. An expansion joint all the way round is therefore important. Rule of thumb, 2 mm per meter of room width. The last plank in the row is measured in each case and the measurement drawn on the still whole plank. Or you can turn the whole plank round and thereby transfer the right measurement. Attention, bear in mind the expansion joint here too. The cut-off piece is used directly again at the start of the next row. For long-lasting strength and an optically attractive overall appearance, the joint should be offset by at least 40 centimeters. On the long side, simply click the planks into each other. The ends are joined together with a hammer and protective block. Make sure that the joints are correctly locked and hit them again if necessary with the protective block. We call that the setting blow. Tip for continuing the installation process. Colour and texture differ in the case of natural products. Therefore, mix the planks from several packs. The steps are repeated across the whole area and soon become routine. The last row of planks is measured again and adjusted accordingly. Bear in mind the expansion joint here too. Done! Radiator pipes running through the floor should firstly be transferred to the plank. Drill the holes 10 mm bigger and saw diagonally to the wall. Put the piece cut out back with some glue. To finish, you can use pipe covering. Where necessary, simply shorten the door frames too. To achieve the right height, use a leftover piece as an underlay and a sharp saw. Here you can't lift the plank as usual, which is why you remove the snap-in tongue. Push the plank under the frame and use some glue here too. It fits. An expansion joint is necessary in indoor transitions too. For covering purposes, fit appropriate profiles. To summarize briefly. Plan two days for the acclimatization. Select the right underlay. 
Prepare tools and aids. Work step by step according to the installation guide. You will also find matching skirting boards in the Paradol range. It's very easy to fit them. Firstly, remove the spacer wedges. Use the enclosed drilling template to attach a clip every 40 to 50 centimeters and push the skirting board on from above. Perfect. So, everything's done. Your new engineered wood flooring can be used immediately.